Right, welcome back to UCS. Monday. We've hit the ground Monday this morning. What have we had today so far? We had a JCB 10 hander breakdown. Uh, lucky done a warranty, so that's been dealt with. In fact, I think it's already been dealt with, so very swift service there. Uh, so, happy customer. Um, it's just all good. All good. I'm on the lorry. I'm going to pick up a load of machinery from your auctions. Um, but the sun is shining. I think it's, I'm sure it's making everyone feel a lot happier and I'm a lot more spring like. So, uh, that's a good positive thing today. We've got to look at the positive, not the negative in life. So, uh, right. So, uh, I'm going trucking. Let's go. As we drive around New Rose looking round, as we come down here on the uh, left hand, right hand side here, where they find them signs where they video every item working. So these guys here will video all of these diggers working and photograph them out. So uh, quite a laborious task, but um, very professional the way it all comes across and the way it all turns out. There's, Machine there all the right that's arrived, waiting to be um, checked in. So, very spooky just now. Very spooky. I'm driving in the A15. I'm heading to Lincoln City and the song comes on the iPad, the iPad, iPod thingy, on the phone, music. And I've got probably maybe 400 tunes on my iPod thingy, phone, whatever you want, I don't know what to call it anyway. I've got probably 400 tune, what, tunes on there. Purely by chance, just so I got any A15. The Dam Busters song comes on. Okay, there's a tune to the Dam Busters. And I actually quite like the Dam Busters. I think there's some an amazing, some very um, um, brave young men who went off to do their job. But as that comes on, the, as that comes on my music on the lorry, on the right hand side of where I'm driving was RES Scampton, which was the home of the Dam Busters. So, just a bit spooky really that that song happens to come on literally as I'm driving past RF Scampton. So I have loads of these weird things happen to me like that. Loads. It's not that's not unusual that happens to me. So who else out there has these sort of strange occurrences happen to them and what are they? I'd love to hear. Um, is it all just coincidence? Is it just I don't know. I mean, it just seems really weird. It almost sort of puts a shiver then he back to think, hang on a minute, we're going past RAF Scampton and the Dan Bus is on. And I actually do like the Lancaster Bombers and all that. Blah, blah, blah. So there we go. So anyway, so am I alone in that sort of thing happening too? Does it happen to you? If so, I'd love to know, let us know what you think. So uh, be in interesting to, to, to read other people's um, coincidences. So uh, in the box below, please do it. So, uh, all right. Joys await us here. We're home. Morning. Well, have we found at the perfect employee? What do you think? 
we haven't been advertising for staff really. Um, became extremely disillusioned with uh, trying to find new members of staff. Um, they, yeah, there seems to be a, we, we understand there's a nationwide shortage of um, willing and eager people that want to do work in return for being paid. But anyway, so we haven't been advertising. We sat back for a while and thought, do you know what, we'll have a rest of this game of shards or whatever. So anyway, this someone approached us that they were looking for work and had a CV that they building work and lorry driving and you know etc 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 and because what we do at GCS is very varied it's if you can turn a hand to a few things and don't mind you know being adaptable and help it's, it's what we do you know it makes that we think it makes the weeks go faster we think that it helps um, break the boredom and monotony of a job you know if you're sitting at a till in Chesco it's going beep 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 for eight hours a day um, you know doing different stuff anyway so right anyway so this person then chased us could they, could they come see us could they come see us come see us so okay so we sat down with them for an interview and how they they've been lorry driving but didn't want to do lorry driving didn't want to be lorry driver no 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 it wasn't for them no no love building work love all that love all construction love all stuff like that you know and you say to them like oh well, we, know, we do get a bit of monotony sometimes with like even like steam, steam cleaning sometimes you know it, it has to be done oh no no love steam cleaning love it no no great don't mind doing that really so you, you begin to ask yourself thinking well is this person too good to be true you know CV reads wonderful so anyway, we, we interviewed them after they went for a while and, they, and, they, and then they, they sort of chased us, you know, look, you know, really keen, really keen, really chased us, chased us, chased us. So in the end we gave in and we gave them a job, we gave them a start. And um, we thought for the first day we will give them a chance to just find their feet. So we got them in, in, the new, in our new tea room that you've seen us constructing, um, doing some painting work, which we thought would be quite nice, just, you know, find your feet but anyway at the end of day one job's not for them not for them now they, I think they want to go back lorry driving or doing construction yeah doing construction so when you say to them what do you actually want to do they don't know they really don't know so I just find it, I find it disheartening really as well, quite disheartening that you give people a chance, you, you, you go against perhaps possibly a better judgement and you put time and effort, even though only be for a day or two days you still have to put time and effort into them and it doesn't, I don't know, I don't know. Am I being unreasonable? Um, is it just the way the world we live in and Michael needs to adapt to the fact that this is how staff are these days? I don't know. What do you think? What's the secret to it? What's the secret? I mean, after after one day, I mean, we, we gently left the guy sort of on his own to find his own feet, really, because I think there's nothing worse than the first day. And, you know, if we'd put him on our low load for the first day, he wouldn't have, he would have, he would have um, found that difficult because obviously that needs some time to get to get the hang of that um i don't know i don't know so have we found the perfect employee in this gentleman no does he believe in what he was in how he sold himself i don't know i don't know i don't know What's the, what is the secret what is the secret how do other people find their staff? You know, it's not about money because, you know, the, the hourly rate we, we started as gentleman was a very good hourly rate. And to be fair, if he'd have come in and been half as good as a CV, we would have increased it. But we need to find out his level of what he could do. So, yeah. Am I disheartened? 
very disillusioned very am I surprised not at all not at all in fact it just confer confirms the reason why we haven't been looking for stuff um, but anyway as our slogan says failure is not an option but I also look around at, at a lot of other people and they're all advertising for staff so where is everybody this country has got the highest population is ever had where are the staff or, people, or is it just the fact that people just don't want to work anymore what do you think answers blow anyway that's the rant sort of over. So uh, we'll carry on with less staff. It's easier. There we go. We've got our tape on the side now. Our anti-slip. The bits of wood are coming off. So uh, they're quite smart, aren't they? See the wood. All safe from shop blasting. Bit of overspray, but uh, <laughs> quite a bit of overspray. But never mind, that's not, not, not critical. But there we go, all the tape on, all ready, all good to use. What another glorious, cheerful, spring like day. It's raining hard, doom and gloom. <laughs> I'm out on the service van. Gonna fit a new wing mirror to a tractor because the customer smashed it off. Um, not a cheap hobby putting big wing mirrors and that on tractors, I tell you. And uh, yeah, but the joys of being in high off. It's not all, it's not all champagne and roses and chocolates. It's cold, wet, miserable, and hard work. So uh, I must be mad. Is there an easier way of life? What should we be doing? Come on then, here's one then. In the box is below, tell us, what should we be doing? What, what would be an easier way of life? And maybe slightly less challenging. So let us know in the comments below what you think we should be doing. So, uh, right, I'm gonna get on my journey. Right, that's Michael the Fitter done on this site, okay? I'm a man of many, I would say talents, but I don't really think it's probably a talent. Um, I'm not as good as anybody else out there, I'll tell you. Anyway, these bulbs on a John Deere tractor, can anybody tell me, are they common in other um, applications? Have a look at that. Now, are they common in other applications or is it just John Deere? Um, if so, because I, I suspect John Deere are going to be uh, very expensive for what we have to buy from, if we have to buy, if that just a John Deere item. So if anybody knows any other applications or that they are for these light bulbs, um, please let me know. So anyway, one tractor done, a front weight difference for another tractor on the same site. Um, new wing mirrors fitted. Um, that's, a not, that's not a cheap hobby. There we go, two GCS trailers on site with the uh, pipe carrying uh, Max there. All good stuff. Nice to see it. Nice, nice to actually have good kit to do it with as well. So uh, we do like our Stuart traders. Right, well, right, well, on me home, way home, we just popped into uh, Ben Burgess to pick up a couple of them light bulbs. So we've got some on the shelf. And uh, quick look at the tractors while we're here. Nice tractor there, nice line up. Six R one five five. That's quite an odd size one, a one six five. Don't see many of those. So we got one of these coming. We got one of these coming home in the next few days. Just because. On. On 650 tyres. Yeah. Wow. 
one five five right yeah same again but we've got one is over the front linkage and all 130 are I'm sure there's quite a market, you know, for some of these little tractors. There's a lot of people think they'll just get bigger. But that's a nice size tractor. I'm sure we should, have some, I'm sure we should have a, go down a size in tractors. At the moment, the smallest we do is 155. Um, I'm sure we ought to go down a bit into that sort of size tractor. But, uh, a nice lineup. A few Yamaha diggers. The big Yamaha digger over there. There's a whole range of uh, smaller John Deere and some of the Ben Burgess Hire Fleet. Right, quite nice uh, bits there. Here's a question for you, and a little observation I have made on my travels. We bank with Barclays, and Barclays seem to be showing branches everywhere, as do I'm sure most of the other banks. So now, when I get a check, I have to actually go into the city of Lincoln, Park in a multi story car parky thingy, walk to the bank to pay the check in. Now, last time I went to this branch of the bank, I have to go back there now because they've closed the one I normally use. They have, they used to be well cashiers when you go and pay your check in with a cashier, right? Now, there's a whole group of bank staff. in the foyer, waiting to assist you with whatever it is you need to do. Ooh, we're, down, we're going down the drive, so it's a bit bumpy. So we have these people, you walk in the bank now, and there's just people there waiting to show you and help you. So then you say, I want to pay a check in, please. And then take you to a machine you put your card in and pay the check in. And the whole time I'm doing this, this these people are helping me do it because I'm not very good at this sort of thing. So how is that progress? They've got the same number of staff in there doing stuff, right? Showing you how to do it yourself. When why can't they just sit behind a counter and do it? Is that me? I don't know. Is this progress? I don't know. The world is changing, and I don't like all the way it's changing. I'll actually you to go to the bank, pay him, stamp your bit of book there, and, and away you go. But now they've got staff to show you how to do it yourself. And the staff are taking longer showing me how to do it than they would have been just to do it behind the counter. How is that progress? We don't know, but um, I'm sure it's tried to change its way from using checks. No, I don't use checks, I haven't been to check in here. In fact, I wouldn't even know where my checkbook is. But there are some people that we still deal with come along with checks, and uh, even the VAT man sends me a check when he has pays me some money. So I have to go and do his pay. Anyway, there you go. Another little observation in my, my little sad little world, I think. Right, good morning. I'm on the boat again. Um, going out to change fuel fields on the telehandler. Um, all good fun, all part of the service, isn't it? Well, bearing in mind we're looking for a straw contract, huh? The lorry coming up here with straw, hopefully it's a good indication that Michael's heading in the right direction. So there we go. So we must be heading in the right direction, we hope. There we go. Right. Heading into the outback of Lincolnshire.
So one JCB, Teddy Handler, do the filters. First one's done now. Now we've got a cord underneath, probably belly plate to get to the uh, other filter that's tucked in there somewhere. So uh, it's all part of the challenge of life, I believe. That's the bottom filter now uh, changed. So we'll uh, turn this on and uh, hopefully bleed it up. Check for leaks. I'm kind of hoping this will now self prime itself a fuel. So we can hear the pump working. That's good. Hopefully it'll self prime. That's a good sign. Happy days. Right, oh, right. One teddy handler. Fuel fuels are done, cleaned out, all back to running, all right running. Checked out a few other bits while we're here. So uh, we'll leave the customer in peace now and uh, let them go on with their straw. Well, we just popped into our local chant the store to get some dog food. And uh, you've had a very delightful, brand spanking new combine. There we are, a Fent combine. You certainly don't see many of those around. Of course, 518. So, uh, I don't know all much about that, but obviously quite a small combine. Probably a straw, straw walker model. Yeah. You see their straw walker model. You don't see many of them. What a nice machine. Now, can anyone tell me, is that actually a Fent combine all the way through? Or is that a, made by another manufacturer, badges of Fent, I don't know. Um, can you buy that in different colors? As in, I don't know. Um, well, you buy a classic combine in cat, pillar, class, whatever. Is this Fent a massive combine underneath? I don't know. Everybody knows the answers. We're interested to know, but uh, certainly haven't seen many of them around. Plenty of tractors here. Almost any colour you like. I still think that combine is quite, quite, quite nice. So, there we go. There we are. Another day's rain. And the water is just flooding off that field. Washing away, taking my drive with it. Look at that. I think all the roadstone on my drive is miles away by now. But there we go. As they say, it is what it is. Right, it's Friday. Look at the way that sun's shining. I haven't to close my eyes. That's a welcome change for last yesterday. Yesterday poured all day long, all day. So big welcome change, have some sunshine. Um, just popped out to do a job for a friend of mine. He bought a tank from us a little while ago and uh, now wants to change the pump to a, a hand pump rather than a 12 volt, two, sorry, 240 volt. So we just popped out. So uh, I do try and look after my friends. So if you are watching this, at the very short notice you did ask, I rushed out to do it. I doubt you watch it anyway, but you can always hope, can't you? So we've taken out the, the Pudy 240, the flow meter, and that filter, which I know he'll use again somewhere. And we've fitted a hand pump, a filter, inline tap, and a quick release coupling on there for the hose. So uh, it's not an exciting job really, but uh, helping a friend out. But anyway, it's all done. And uh, nip home now and go and look around the farm sale. Right, we're going to give you a very quick update on the tea room um, and how it's progressing. We are getting there. It seems like it's taken ages, but we are doing a lot of other things at the same time. The outside there has had a coat of paint this morning in grey. 
So hopefully it won't show the dirt too much. Right, the ceiling's been painted. The walls have had a coat, coat of grey. The beading here has gone on around the windows just to tidy things up. And around the door frames and things. So, beading near the corner. So, it's changing fast. Well, it's changing. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please click and subscribe. I'm feeling about 90% um, today, which is good. So how are you feeling? Please put it below and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.